Barclay, Levinson and Galvan. Research into risk-taking behaviour. The aim of this study was to test if risk-taking behaviour and the anticipation of reward differs from adults compared to adolescents and which part of the brain is linked with this phenomenon. There were 19 adult participants aged between 25 and 30 and 21 adolescent participants aged between 13 and 17 years old. The sampling method was self-selected through poster and internet advertisements. The conducted experiment was a lab experiment with an independent measures design. The procedure is as follows. Informed consent was obtained from the adults and the adolescents' parents. The participants were trained on a computer gambling program and were acclimatized to a fMRI scan through a mock scan. After training and acclimatizing, they were presented with a series of 144 gambling trials. On the screen, they saw a spinner with a 50% chance of gaining the value and a 50% chance of losing the value written on the screen. The participants' only task was to accept or reject the trial. The amounts of the gains or losses ranged from minus twenty dollars to plus twenty dollars. In your textbook you may come across the EV value known as the expected value. This is the sum of all possible outcomes multiplied by their probabilities. So it is like the risk factor. A high value would mean more chance of gain and a lower value would mean more chance of loss. The results are as follows. The adolescents accepted gambles much more than the adults. When the risk was neutral, the EV being zero, both groups took similar risks. The activity of the ventral striatum increased much more in adolescents as the EV increased when compared to adults. The conclusions of this experiment were adolescents place much greater value on reward than adults. This behavior can be correlated with increased activity of the ventral striatum region in the brain.